Take a break. Take a break. Take a break. Take a break with HTML5. Take a break. Take a break. Take a break with HTML5. Hi everybody, my name is Arun and I work for Mozilla on the evangelism team. I have a particular focus on web standards and today I'm holding in my hand the Nokia N900. Here is a colleague of mine standing in front of a green screen and I've bought this up on my mobile device. He's pointing at something, seemingly something abstract that you can't see. Well, let me switch something out to make this a little bit more interesting. Now, my colleague is pointing at a gate with a Firefox logo on the gate. It's the same guy standing there. I've just switched out the background of the image using JavaScript. And now, of course, I've made it a black and white image. It's my same colleague standing in front of a black and white image, as if the picture were taken with a black and white camera. I'm able to manipulate the pixels of this image, and I'm able to manipulate the content of this image because I'm reaching into an HTML5 canvas element and changing its background dynamically. Here, I'm going to show you the old familiar Firefox logo, but I'm going to do something interesting to it. When I tap the circular image of the logo, it spins as if it's in a washing machine. Here I'm using a little bit of CSS3, and I'm also using JavaScript, but I'm applying that transform with SCSS, and a little JavaScript to animate it, so it's spinning around. Let's drive home the point by mixing together all these other things that you can rely on. Here I'm showing you another demo, and I'm going to apply SVG filters to it to make it look fuzzy. And here you see the same Firefox logo looks like it's fuzzed out. I'm binding a, a, a filter, an SVG filter to it using cascading style sheets. So you see two standards working in connection with each other. But let me do something particularly interesting. Let me crop this image. You see that the image is behaving as if it's completely been cropped. And once again, I'm using CSS and SVG, and I'm doing a substantial transform to this image in real time, just running like that, on a cell phone, on a handheld device. These are the kinds of things you can rely on um, with the web standards that are emerging. And these are the kinds of things that Firefox for mobile implements and brings to life on a, cell, on a handheld device. So web applications are mobile applications, thanks to the same platform being built out on different kinds of devices. Thank you for taking the time.